Well, 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 we're back with another video. I know I haven't uploaded for a week ever since I uploaded that Spotify video, but let's not question it. So, as you saw in the title, we're back here with another video on telling you guys how to get the Horion hat client or utility tool as they list it. But I know what you guys all are here for, to use it to hack. But, as I'm going to say, please try not to use it as much on servers to be an asshole. But I know people's intentions and I can't do nothing about that except from not make the video. But I've wanted to make an updated video for a long time, so it's going to happen either way. I know I haven't made an updated video on how to get it since August of 2019. That's a year ago. But we're back and we're ready to get an updated version on how to install the Horion utility tool for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So for all of you guys that have been here waiting for it for a long time, let's get straight into it. So first of all, as always in any tutorial, you know the first place you gotta go, straight to the Google. As you'll see here, you wanna head to horionbeta.club make sure it's dot club and not horionclient.eu as their old website was it's horionbeta.club link will be in the description as always but what you want to do once you're here is click download and boom bada bing uh, you want to go to your horion folder or not your horion folder you can put it wherever you want i just personally folder everything i have because i like to be neat so now you have that folder you might be thinking well, what on earth am I supposed to do with this folder? I can't extract it. What am I supposed to do? It's just a zipped file. This is where WinRAR comes in. You want to head over to Google or just click the link in the description as I always leave links, as you know. Once you're in the description or you go to the website, either click on that download link there or if that, that's not there, just click WinRAR, download free and support WinRAR. And once you're on here, just click download and it'll take you to that page. So, what you're going to need to know is that either if your PC is a 64-bit or a 32-bit. If you don't know, well, that's fine. Just head into the bottom left, right-click your start button, and go to system. Once uh, it's loaded up, as you'll see here, it will tell you if it's a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit. You can see right here, mine is a 64-bit, so I'm going to get the 64-bit. But if yours says 32, make sure to get 32. And as you can see, it has all of the different languages that they have to offer. But me personally, I need 64-bit, so we get 64-bit. We click download, and once it's uh, downloaded, it's uh, ready to go. So I'm just gonna put it in my folder. As I told you, I like to be organized. I already have one here, but we're just gonna overwrite that. And it's scanning for viruses, let it do that. And uh, once it's here, you just double click it, it will ask you, are you sure you'd like to install it? You, Because you need to be wary. And let me go over to this screen. What, what it will come up with is a, a thing asking you, where would you like to install? If you have a specific location you want it to install, make sure to select it. But if not, just click install. Once it's done, it will ask you, would you like to associate it with JAR and ISO? Unless you know that you need them as well, do not select them, there's no need to. Everything on the right is good as it should be, unless you know that you need to activate stuff. But if you're fine, just leave it as it is and click OK. And it will come up this page, just click done, and boom bada bing, you're good as new. Head back over to your folder where you had um, your uh, Horizon in. So I go here, I go to new. And there it is, the folder type is changed to the free books, easy as. What you wanna do now is click right click and click extract here or extract files. Extract files will let you choose where to extract it to, but if you're gonna extract it to the same location, this folder uh, or the file is, just click extract here as I do, and it extracts it to the same folder. Now you will have these three here, these you don't need to worry about unless you know what you're doing with them. But the thing that we're going to focus on is the Horion Injector. So it will ask you, are you sure you uh, trust it? Trust me, it is safe. You will not get a virus. But just double click it. It comes up with the alert. Click yes, I accept. And you'll be greeted with this page right here, which says Horion Injector. If you have the beta for supporting a Patreon, you uh, log in with your Patreon account and away you go but if you don't you just use this normal one this normal one has a 
limited supplies that it can use but it's still a hat client nonetheless it is great at what it has to offer and it's awesome but if you really want to support what they do i would recommend supporting them on patreon as they are just great at what they're currently doing but with uh, i'm gonna go load up my minecraft and i'll cut back in just a sec so once you have your Minecraft Bedrock Edition, I cannot stress this enough, this is for Bedrock, not Java. And to prove that this is Bedrock, as you can see at the bottom, it has the Bedrock symbol on my little bar at the bottom, and the Java has a crafting table. And to prove this even more, because it might look a little different to yours, I do have custom texture packs on. If I go to my global resources and go to active, I have all of these custom ones on. Uh, you can read the names if you want to install them. You can go search for them online. Uh, but if I guess I get enough comments, as I normally do, I get people asking, where did you get your shaders? Where did you get everything else? If I get enough comments asking for them, I guess I will leave them in the description. But they are all here. The only one I cannot link you is Pure BD Craft, as I did pay for that on the store. But nonetheless, let's go back and let's get straight to uh, installing the Horion hack line. So as you uh, would expect, you just click play or you can be on the screen. It doesn't matter where you are. Just then open up the Horion injector, which you should already have open, or you can open it up in game. It doesn't matter. Just click inject and it will say retrieving and downloading and it will take you back to your Minecraft. And there it is. All of the hacks load up. And if we go on to uh, any world, I'm going to go on to this world uh, as I did try recording this video already before, but I didn't like how I like how it turned out. So I'm re-recording. But uh, all you want to do is once you're in your Minecraft game, if you click uh, the inspect key on your keyboard, uh, it will load up the uh, all of the hacks. And this is where you'll get full range of what you want to turn on, what you don't want on. Uh, you get to choose everything. But... One thing I haven't told you in this video is I will put up some text at the beginning telling you to stick around to the end because I did forget to say that. But what you want to know is that I will be linking a playlist in the description telling you how to use each and every single one of these hack clients or not clients. I mean all of these hacks. So it will tell you how to use aimbot, auto clicker, bow aimbot, uh, criticals, uh, crystal aura. All of them will be explained in that video or playlist in the description. The playlist will be mine and it will be my videos, um, but they will all be uploaded uh, separately. So there'll be a separate video for air jump, auto sprint, auto sneak, air uh, stark, air swim, anti void, etc. So if you need any help with all of these, that will be in the description. And also on top of that, uh Horion does have commands to offer you so if you do dot help it will come up with a list of every single command they have you can read through these but i'll also be making videos on how to use them as well so this is all i had to show you in this video it has the hacks they work as intended as you can see i'm in survival but i can fly due to the hack line but like i said that's all i had to show you uh make sure to go into the description and click on the playlist link if you need any more help as this like that playlist will tell you everything that you will need to know but as always thank you for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace